Hey everybody, welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. My name is Bear. I spent a lot of money this week and it made me realize very quickly that I need another antiquarian. So I picked one up. I made some space at the bottom of the Im or the uh, roster and I also bought the upgrade from the stagecoach that allows us to... Oh wait, no, so I didn't dump anybody off. Yeah, I just ended up buying the upgrade and uh, picking up another antiquarian right here. That's a fee camp. The night owl was slow draw and thanatophobia. Not a big deal at the moment because she's not coming out just yet. Uh, the squad we are bringing out is a bit of a gamble. It's it's quite a bit of a gamble, I think. It's a long apprentice 100% explore mission. So I have to go to every single room in this dungeon. That is difficult. But we have brought both a healer and a stress healer along in this team. So I'm hoping that that's going to be enough. And I'm going to be able to like super cheese a couple of these instances and battles. Uh, and take care of business here, but I don't know how long this is gonna take man I've never been on a long dungeon before in the pitch black mod, so it's scary We'll see what how we uh, we'll see how we go in the estate before we even take off here The uh, sanitarium is not or is uh, vacant at the moment actually I was considering throwing the houndmaster in there, but I'm gonna play around with this rabies. I feel like the accuracy modifier may be uh, Something I can handle it might be worth trading off for that damage and speed. It's pretty significant so I might keep that for now. The Abbey does hold a couple of our companions, though. Dredux and Campion, and then the Tavern here. We got Bassett and Corian taking care of business. Corkon. I'm sorry, man. I just... These names. I'm never going to be good at them. It's just... We got to all accept it. Just right here and now. We're 200 plus episodes deep. Some of you, right? You've gotten used to this. Highwayman, Bounty Hunter, Jester Vestal. Let's run down the trinket selection. Sharpening sheet and the focus ring. He's a slugger, much like our other highwayman, Dismiss. He's got a lot of benefits to his melee skills, so we're going to be focusing on that. Wicked Slice, Open Vein, Duelist Advance, not as much, and uh, Deceitful Shot will be sort of a secondary one. There's some bleed opportunities in this team, too, and I'm going to run those down in a second here as well. The Bounty Hunter, with the level 3 upgrades available, actually, so he gets some really nice buffs to his otherwise already pretty good skill set. The Collect Bounty gets a crit bonus against the marked targets. The Mark for Death, just a little bit less protection on the enemies. Uppercut gives him some reduction to protection. Or gives the enemy some reduction to protection if it does land successfully. And then he's got himself the Hook and Slice, which does four points per three rounds, which is really nice. On top of a bonus to bleeding targets, so that's looking pretty good. Harvest, necessary basically on the Jester at the moment. Needs something for Corpse Clear. Solo, I might switch out with Dirk Stab. I haven't decided yet, and then Battle Battle and Inspiring Tune. Really wish he was a higher level than Zero. That's sort of making things difficult, but I'm willing to take the chance, I guess. Even the Maester's hat and the Lucky Dice. So I gave that Bounty Hunter the uh, Barristan's head and Heavy Boots as well here. So a lot of protection going for him. And then the Vestal in the back was tempted to go with the, the uh, Haste Chalice for her. The Ancestor's map, though, I feel provides us a little bit more of a benefit. Especially because we're not utilizing the Bounty Hunter's Finish him. I didn't think I'd be able to do that with the Haste Chalice, especially not with the Sacred Scroll, because her stun is not going to be nearly good enough, and I don't want to rely on him stunning targets himself, only to try to get that bonus damage later on. Even though that Stress Heal is nice with Finish Him at level 3, but I don't have to worry about that too much with a Jester in tow, so we're fine there. And I'm tempted to actually, you know, I was looking at Illumination. It gives Illumination a 50% chance to stun at level 3, which is a really interesting one. That's a terrible stun, but on some enemies it would work, so it's worth considering maybe. But I'm, I'm going to keep Dazzling Light equipped, because it does have a small chance to the, for that stun, as I mentioned. And I like the Torchlight as well, even though it is pretty similar here too. Actually, this does deal more damage as well. It's tempting, man. I don't know, I might have to go spend even more cash and figure that out. But I think we'll stick with what we got here. This is going to be a tough one. It's going to be an endurance test too, but uh, the reward is good. Life Crystal, 8 Deeds. I need some more Deeds. I need to get us closer to being able to level up to level 3 weapons and armor. And uh, when that's the case, I'll be able to finally go into these veteran dungeons. Because look at this shit, man. Look at the stuff we could be getting if we're going into here. Reaper's Hourglass? What the hell even is this? I gotta figure out what this ties thing means, too. My best guess is that there are characters that you can equip these on. And they'll have some sort of interaction when you go into a dungeon. That's just like my, my logic train. But... I have no idea. For now, we're going into the wield. It's a long mission. We got some good camping skills, actually, so we should be able to take advantage of that. And, uh, yeah. I guess we're ready. I guess we're as ready as we're gonna be. And I'm gonna have to spend a shitload of money here, obviously, provisioning properly, too. I think it's gotta be three full stacks of food, man, which is sort of ridiculous, but... Maybe necessary? 
I might even need more than like five shovels. God damn. I don't know what to do to prepare, prepare for a long dungeon. This is a little intimidating. I've got to spend so much gold to do this, don't I? Holy shit, this is going to be a big problem. Maybe I should go in the dark a little bit. Maybe I could go in the dark a little bit. Hold on a second here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's reset. Get all that gold back. What if I did this dark? That's a huge gamble. That's a really big gamble, but could I do it? I would throw on a moon cloak, I think, on somebody. Probably even my my highwayman to help protect him a little bit. Because he doesn't necessarily need this, and it's actually putting him in a lot of danger. This would be nice. Do I have anything else that benefits from the darkness? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. Maybe some quirks, actually. Maybe like, uh, oh, she's Night Owl. Yeah, she gets more speed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they just completely cancel each other out. Uh, I, I might try running a little, uh, a little dark here. Oh, goodness. What am I doing? A long... That is... That seems like an absurd plan, man. But I think it's gonna be better. Let's do it. And let's bring a lot of food. Maybe that'll work out. I'll bring, like, one luminous concoction, maybe, even though that's basically the price of three torches. It might be nice to have a hundred... Well, no, I'll have campfires to get up to a hundred torch light if I really want to. I doubt I'll need to, though. I don't know, man. I'm kind of curious how this is going to work out. I'm going to bring... I don't think I need this. Bleeds and... Uh, bleeds and... Or blights could be pretty bad here, though. I don't know. This is, a. Uh... This is a questionable one. Do I need a big old health potion too? That might be nice. <laughs> Just have a big old potion to chug down if I need it. You know, actually, now that I think about it, that might be pretty valuable. I've got a healer though, man. Here's the thing, I've got these two. So everything should be taken care of, right? I can address problems as they come up. Ideally. I think I'll be okay. I don't even think I need much else. Maybe a bandage, but I'm kind of double checking that. Yeah, this'll work. I'm bringing six shovels. Let's make it seven, man. Let's be... Let's be a little safe there. And then no torches. Oh, keys. We need keys. Yeah, for sure. Off we go, then. Off we go, then. Oh, here's hoping that the uh, the screen stays up for me, huh? <laughs> I definitely don't need any more disadvantages for this one. Wow! Oh, god damn. Well, at least we get a scout, but look at all this. So, lesson number one, I think, what we're learning here. First of all, I think I'm just going to go ahead and knock this out. May indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Oh, goodness, man. Oh, god, I don't think I should even touch anything. Just ignore it all. The whole point of this... I, I want to make some money, obviously. I need to make some money, because this cost me an arm and a leg to even get into, but... Oh, goodness. I don't think I can afford to do anything that I don't know is going to work out perfectly for me. And I don't want to I don't want to use my supplies when I don't have to, either. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. If I can get away with not using my, my bandages, my anti-venoms, when I don't have to, I'm pretty damn sure I need to go that route with it. Of course, the possibility of hunger tiles showing up everywhere here is pretty terrifying. And the fact that I do have to fight... Well, hold on. No, 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 no. I should not... I should not take extra battles. I think I should avoid that. But the fact that I do have to go into every room means I... I need to just take out the battles when I can. And I should also go to as few obstacles as possible, right? I'm, I'm okay with these first two because it looks like the hallways are fairly clear beyond this, but... I definitely should be cognizant of that. I'm really hoping I keep getting lucky with these, uh, scouts, too. That's been pretty helpful so far. Just, alright, just, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm a little worried about these curios, man. The wheeled curios are not fun to deal with! Uh, I have caustic solution, though. I guess I should use that while I, while I know that can help. Yeah, that thing. Okay, that's the, uh, that helps us against human targets. So I, I should just keep this. I always pop this, like, before I even know what's going to happen. 
I should save that for when I'm fighting humans, and I can just use it, and I can get an immediate bonus. The lack of torches certainly has not hurt us thus far, I can tell you that much. Interestingly enough. Okay, we'll leave that behind. I know I can use an anti-venom there, but I've got one, and I'm pretty sure I want to keep it. And I don't want to risk touching it and getting blighted or anything like that. I've done a great job of doing absolutely nothing so far. It's really worked out pretty well for me. Just a brilliant strategy up to this point. I really I can't say enough about it. Alright, Highwayman. Let's see what we can do. Actually, somebody might have a better chance than you. Bounty Hunter does. Excellent. Might have even wanted to let the Vestal do that, actually. Because she's up here with a little bit of extra stress. And any little bit can help. Okay, great progress so far. I mean, I'm happy about this, how easy it's been. But now we get the real stuff. Ah, humans. Okay, so we could just go ahead and use this right away. It's not a terrible idea. We might even want to start some bleeds off, actually. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's fine, that's fine. So, hexproof, which means... You're not a huge target, I don't think. And that's a great bleed. Nice. Okay, one target down. Oh! And so it begins. Okay. Yeah, he's dead, though. If we can get a one or two more bleeds there, that'd be beautiful. And now it's definitely time for the Jester to start uh, addressing that. It can become a problem really quickly. Good dodge. Okay, now, yeah, I just... I don't want to let anything become an issue ever. Oh, my God. Cured the bleed, too. What a start. Uppercut's good. Gives us a protection reduction on him, even though it doesn't really matter. Again, it's one down. Hopefully we get a bleed opportunity here. She's gonna go first, and that's really impactful, unfortunately. Oh my god, yeah, that's already a huge issue. Let's... Let's begin the healing process. Beautiful. Another bleed here. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's perfect. And that bleeds out, which means we have the space to uh, attempt to stun this guy again. I guess I could Dazzling Light. I really don't have a great chance of making that work. Although, yeah, Judgment's probably better. That's a small chance of her, yeah... Giving yourself some stress healing, that's nice. Oh wait, Judgment does actually automatically stress heal now. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's really helpful. Two guaranteed stress heal from Judgment. And this guy's dead. As the fiend falls, a faint hope Provoked protection. You get a bit edgy, but you know how to handle yourself. Stress damage received. Oh, that's huge, though. Ooh, boy. But extra protection, I guess, which means he's a... Uh, He's a friggin' tank now. That's awesome. That is really nice. So I am worried about this upcoming uh, room battle. I'm gonna have to dedicate the Jester to preventing the Vestal's uh, resolve check. That's getting a lot closer than I'd like. Luckily, these guys don't directly impact that until one of them transforms into something that does, so they'll I will ideally prevent that. I can bleed them, though. I've got a really good chance of bleeding a lot of these guys. In fact, you might be a primary target for that. However, I do have to do this. I'm pretty sure it's just... It's not okay to let her be up that high. I don't know if she's got... Yeah, I was wondering if she's got Stress Faster or something like that. I maybe could have cheesed it a little bit, but... Not the case. Good chance to stun here. I think I'll take it. He does, he does a lot of damage. Although, these guys with the Blight Chance... I should be uh, worried about, too. That's probably not an issue. How are we handling this? What is the- what's the biggest threat at the moment? I'm trying to figure that out. Probably not you. I might even want to let you shapeshift a little bit. Uh, still, again, we got good bleed chances here. They've got a lot of protection. The Seafull shot's pretty nice, I think. I might do this. He'll probably get targeted a couple of times, and he can deal some good damage returning those shots. Like right here, for example, right? Yes! Some Blight, but that's okay. We can heal him up if we need to, and I like Judgment, but... Stun chance is okay on the regenerating one, and I'll take a gamble. There we go. Back into the darkness. I'll probably have to heal him up here next turn, especially with that Blight t being taken into consideration. Transforms back into a Scratcher. That is a weaker one. And the stress seals are working. Getting down close to the Jester's territory, actually. And now, let's see. Unfortunately, again, I don't have my bonus to stun damage. I uh, don't have any marked targets either. I really haven't done a good job of trying to make that happen. Nobody's bleeding either. We've got a really mixed bag of opportunities in front of us right now. Small chance to kill this guy, but I wonder if I'm better off doing this. Making it a lot easier to bring him down. 
I really don't know who- again, man, like, without a proper priority, it's interesting how I handle things, isn't it? He's now got a lot less protection, so I suppose this is effective, but this might be even better. He's already got Deceitful Shot active. Yeah, let's just hit him with that. And the Bounty Hunter might be able to kill him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a lot of stress, too. And here comes a Harmless Swipe, but that moves him forward. I don't wish I'd had, I had a Hellion here. Love the Barbaric Yop in this position. Sort of a strong Blight, unfortunately. I will, uh... Solo heal, stay ahead of the healing game. Highwayman's doing okay. He transforms into a Nasher. Oh, that's bad. Luckily, returns some damage, but that is an unfortunate hit. Oh god, the bounty or the uh, Highwayman's in a, in a really rough spot now. I should try to kill you. I think I will. Although that that's a that's a more effective kill actually. And then Harvest clears that corpse. Hopefully starts a bleed off on this guy. That is a lot of damage for the whole team! God damn, and I still need to do some stress healing. I don't want to leave this corpse around though. So I think I need to do this. Especially because that is some decent damage too. Oh goodness, if that blight stacks, thank you. Thank you very much, alright, that works. Crit restored her own, or his own health. Deceitful shot, god I wish I could hit you with that. Light's not enough. God damn it, I think I need to kill this thing. I knew that was gonna happen, man. I just had the dirtiest little feeling that that was gonna go down right there. Really? Inf oh my god. What a heal, though. Okay. That's nice. A lot less speed here now. Harvest is still really good. Masterfully executed. Especially when that's gonna happen for me. Okay, now I can maybe even take this guy out. Pretty much anybody I target here is gonna go down. Very good. Hoping for another group heal opportunity from the Vestal. Hopefully that doesn't stack the Blight. It did. Son of a bitch. You're gonna die. I can stun you. Impressive. Got a crit. Nice. Landed it all. Okay, so he's gonna die no matter what. This is how a life is taken. Which means maybe I want to attempt a Blight heal on somebody. I only have a 19% chance though, so this is probably better for us all. Get all our healing up. Healing received buff, too, which probably isn't really going to matter too much. Reduce some more stress. Alright, it's looking a lot better. This is actually a pretty helpful fight, all things considered. And not too much blight being left over here, and uh, we get to go out this way, although... You know, I'm probably better going down here. Yeah, I've got to do this. I'm going to ignore those curios, unfortunately, but I think I have to. I don't want to take the chance of uh, hunger tiles and or extra encounters. That's the first hunger activation we've had, I think, though. Yeah, I want to go through here, try to save on the shovels. We'll go up this way. Then I have to Darkest duck back around down here, I guess. Haunting the hearts of men. How am I going to serpentine around? I'm going to have to do something like go down here. up. A oh, I could do that, actually, if I wanted to go down this way and then make it extremely complicated. Yeah. That would be awful. <laughs> I still don't really know what my plan is. But, uh, we'll see, I guess. Most of my plan at the moment is just avoid using shovels. Because I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to need as many of those as I can possibly save. We're down to five already, having used two. No scout. That's kind of unfortunate. What if I just go all the way around like this, save that for last, maybe? I think I'll go that way. The lack of scouts over here is... Gonna make it a little bit more difficult, and that does mean we run into one of these without having known that it was there! That sucks! But I guess it's okay. We gotta accept that that's a possibility. What's this debuff? Should I use an herb on this guy? What's going on here? That is, uh, death blow and healing received until camp. That's sort of unfortunate. Motivation. These two are stress dealers, so it's- oh, the charmer too. Yeah, you're obviously a target. I could stress heal here, but I think I'd like to eliminate these two as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, might even be able to... Yeah, let's just kill her. Holy fuck. Yeah, that'll do it. And now, with the inspirational one, I can bleed her out. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and eliminate these guys completely before they get a chance to act. That's fine, I guess. That solves the problem. I'll just group heal next turn. We're gonna stress heal off with him. Bleed this dude out like a little stuck fucking pig. 
Stress heal, bam. Love it, and we can probably just knock him out. I was going to attempt the stun, but I don't think I really need it. I just want to... Well, no, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah. If I get a bleed here, I'll take the chance with the heal. The Vestal may even act first. Yeah, she does. There we go. Full health, baby. Holy shit. That's going really well. A trifling victory. Damn it. Victory nonetheless. I had a feeling that would happen, too. Look at all my premonitions coming to, <laughs> coming to pass. You can't trust that I actually thought these things. I can tell you anything. I knew that would happen. I'm Nostradamus. Everything I predict comes true. I knew that would happen. Alright, off we go. I'm gonna stop being a doofus. And start being a genius with my infallible... Infallible... See, the, ge the genius in me would know that word. The plan by which to complete this course. This maze of torture and sadness. What should we do here? He might get targeted by all three of these guys, so I kind of want to take a chance on that happening. Although an open vein slash wicked slice is a pretty good, damn good chance of killing at least one of them. Another abomination cleansed from our land. And I like that a lot better. And I'm liking the stress heal early on, too. I probably don't need to heal anybody unless this guy lands a blight. And he didn't land anything. Wow. Repose would have been great there, too. I kind of... Kind of re regretting not activating that, but he did get a guaranteed kill on the target. Don't need to heal, but I will do this. Give us that healing receive buff just in case we fight another battle immediately, which we actually are, so that's kind of nice. Executed with impunity. More stress healing, perhaps, indeed. Taking care of the Vestal just fine. Everybody's feeling good, man. This is an excellent situation. Let's keep that healing receive buff up, I guess. That'll be nice if they end up surprising us in this next fight. Ah, that's a blight though, sadly. Okay. Another one falls. No fun. 825 gold is great though. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Balls. You know, I do like this. I like the idea of going through here. Coming back up around, maybe going up like this. We can treat it like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog bonus level. You gotta start hitting the blue spheres all around in a circle, right? And then you go, you make your way into the center, and that's when they all disappear and turn into rings. If you understand that, you are my spirit animal. Because there are probably only like four people that have any idea what the fuck I just said. Alright. I think the uh, human bonus damage is pretty effective here. Let's start bleeding you out, although you probably deal more damage, truth be told. Unfortunately, I can't reach you with this. So he'll have to do, and I'm hoping that I'll just be able to bleed him out so his corpse disappears as well. Uh, let's see. Hook and Slice actually does do quite a bit, though. Let's see. If I had activated Deceitful Shot, I'd leave this guy alive. But because I did not do that, I think we're better off doing this. I might just be a, using, like, every bleed skill during this battle. Very well may end up being the case, and the Highwayman may, may, may need some uh, dedicated attention here. Depending on the bleeds, he's doing okay. It's a little bit of extra stress, unfortunately, too, but I really like using Harvest now that I've got a bleed going on him. There we go. Okay, he resisted, unfortunately. You're going to be... One more hook and slice, actually, is going to take care of you just fine. We'll group heal again to negate that. He's only going to get one more point blank shot off. That hits hard, though. Reeling. About to break. Oh, goodness. Okay, if he moves first, that's a huge problem. Can I kill you? I can't. Shit. So we know we got to do that. That's the most effective by far. He's going to be dead next turn. You are suffering, my friend. Oh, God. Um. Vestal, please. Oh god. How quickly the time turns. He got double crit. Wow. I guess my Vestal is really slow without the haste chalice. Yeah, especially I guess because of the sacred scroll too. I'm not doing myself any favors with that. Oh man, that was scary. Okay. Uh we need to do this obviously. I cannot afford uh, to reduce stress here and now you're dead. 
There's another- I can't land another bleed on you, but I can hit you, and I can uppercut you too, and that might be a lot more effective. Especially if I knock you back, because that means I can hit him with an open vein. Oh god, but he got the slice and dice off again. If, uh, luckily, not enough to bring him back down to death's door. I'll heal up. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That sacred scroll is helping me as much as it's hindering me. I suppose. Alright, I need... what do I need from this? Oh boy. Harvest, isn't it pretty good here? No, it's only gonna hit this guy. That's eight damage per turn, that sucks. That really sucks. I'd love to have some battle ballads going too, but I've just had to use him for everything else he's got. They both need, like, one shot, and he scares me more. Weirdly enough. I can do this. There we go. Oh goodness, we got another heal, luckily. We'll definitely camp out as soon as I get a chance. Okay, please let me interact with this. I have herbs. God damn it. God damn it, man. Don't be bad. That's bad. That's pretty bad. That sucks. What a bummer. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily need to worry about a room battle here. I can probably handle it, but I'll definitely have to, uh... I'll definitely have to camp out after this one. Let's see. You're a shapeshifter. Right here. And I'd be okay with him transforming into something else. I don't have to stress heal here. It'll help for sure, but I, I think the battle ballad might be better. If I can get some crits, not only is that going to help us to clear these enemies faster, obviously, but that's going to give us some stress relief, and that would be hugely impactful. Bleed is good. Even though you're a shapeshifter, I think I may want to try to kill him sooner. And party heals are excellent in this circumstance. I might want to go for the bounty hunter if he gets targeted a couple of times, though. Oh, goodness. Too much stress. Way too much stress. I might one-shot you. That's okay, that's still pretty good. I figured that would be the first action. Got the crit, too. Oh, goodness. This isn't looking great. Okay, stacked it up. That's enough to take him down. Please kill it. One more point of damage, are you kidding me? Ugh! No crit luck, either. I obviously need to do this. That's good! Extremely helpful, but sadly the bleed still remains, and I will definitely use a bandage up- upcoming here. Cause I don't want to leave that ar around. Oh my god, he's gonna get another attack off, unfortunately, and a rain of blight, too. Jesus. That's good. Please kill it. 85 against 85. Fuck me! I can't target the damn thing! No! At least maybe avoid the resolve check if he gets crit again. Battle Ballad did help us out quite a bit there, though. That prevented him from uh, getting his attack off first, luckily. Okay, thank god. We're actually gonna be alright, all at least. Do I wanna leave? I might leave these guys alive. Oh, this is a cheesy play. That would be heavily reliant upon Blight Resistance. But I may just... Oh, I may want to let them stick around for a bit. I'm gonna attempt to stun them as much as I possibly can. Maybe even attempt to stun from the, uh... From the Vestal, too. She'll probably have to heal up, though, actually. You know, that's a lot better. Much better to keep them topped off. I might want to try to heal this up. Oh god, that's getting really bad. I don't want to use my anti-venom, so I think I'll go for an individually targeted heal with her. And attempt to, uh, get rid of this blight. With that very small chance I have to make that happen. Go for the kill there. That's good. That's beneficial. That's gonna help him out a lot. One more chance. I didn't anticipate that working. I think I'm going to have to anti-venom if that's another stack. Okay, that's not too bad. Please, please, please. Nice! Yay! Oh my goodness, and now everybody's stress is actually at a much more manageable level as well. 
Very, very good. Just a little bit more damage from the bounty hunter here, and we are good to go. Alright, it's getting a little scary, but we're taking care of business here. I don't want to touch this, man. I don't want to touch anything anymore, but I'm going to give it a shot. Well, that's nice. That is extremely good. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Weird that something nice happened. Oh, mockery. Oh, I should do this, yeah. Let's do mockery on um Hmm. Let's going to reduce 20 on these guys if I do it on the bounty hunter. I'm okay with that. And then we can do every rose has its thorn actually. Oh yeah. That's great. Then how about clean... No, clean guns is actually pretty bad. Unparalleled finesse is really great, though. Do I want to prevent the ambush? I don't think I need to. Scout ahead is awesome, too. I've got some really good stuff this time. I don't even have his best one, either, which is Tiger's Eye. Or Turn Back Time. He's got some great camping skills. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not going to prevent the ambush. I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to give him unparalleled finesse. And, uh, let's go with... Let's go with Scout Ahead. Scout Ahead's really useful. Especially with this early campfire. I'm gonna take that. I like that a lot. Probably get ambushed here. That's what I anticipated. We're running in the darkness anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. I expected the shuffle to. Everything I expect comes to pass. Every goddamn time. Uh, I'm gonna keep him here, actually. I'll probably end up soloing with the Jester to get the Vestal up to this, or back to spot two. Take her out of harm's way. Oh, rabies. That sucks. That gives her a speed buff, though, so I, it might not be all that bad. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, he needs to do something. Oh, he can hook and slice from back here. That's not useless. That's pretty good, actually. Because these guys are just as vulnerable to bleed as the, uh, the lot of them, so... Fine by me. Shuffle him up to the front. Okay. Does that change anything? Probably not. I think I'm just going to be soloing this entire fight anyway. Although, I really would have loved to, uh... To friggin' stress heal, of course. They're probably going to get all three of their attacks off before I'm able to do anything. And everybody got rabies! Yippee! All our accuracy goes to shit. But hopefully theirs is too. Indeed it is. He's dead. Hopefully that doesn't land. That really shouldn't have landed, man. And definitely shouldn't have shuffled her to the fucking front either. Come on. Be real here. Jesus. Alright, two dead. I needed some heals, but I, I can't do shit. I gotta move back. I probably should have used a bandage on her. Now I gotta do... Also... Completely ineffective things. Oh boy, well at least I get some stress healing off. At least there's that. Don't let him do anything. Don't let him. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what? Stun, please. Now just kill it. Just kill it. That's fine. Okay, I gotta eat some food. Those bleeds aren't too bad. She needs to eat, though. That's okay. Shuffle the party back. And we're good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna get some stress healing done. We're gonna bring this torchlight down, obviously. And wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Oh, a royal ghoul! What the hell is that? Oh, God. In an inspirational and damnable cultist acolyte. Huh. What... What wonders do we behold here? Jesus Christ, let's see. Uh, this could be good. But I wonder if I ought to try to kill these ones first. It seems like a smart idea. Especially if that's crit chance. It is. Ugh. Oh, man. 
Oh, I don't like this. Um, oh, Solo. Solo is good. Solo can help. Without Finale, though, I don't know about keeping Solo on. Because I got a Duelist Advance here to allow him to really do much else. I guess I can move all the way back, but that really doesn't work very well. So I guess I'm just doing that again. Yep. And that means I can't really stress heal very effectively either. Oh god, I'm starting to uh, regret that decision a little bit. I think I have to do this. And there goes one. The damnable Acolyte still hanging around though. Ah, it could have been a lot worse than it was. Wow, that was lucky. Very nice! Okay, that was an excellent round for us. Sadly, could have been a lot better had that, had that landed, but... Now I get to, uh, well, let's see. A Judgment, maybe. She has rabies, so I'm kind of lucky that that ended up landing, and she took the most advantage. That devastating blow. Crit for some stress healing there is nice. Uh, stun chance not looking too great here. I think I'll just heal. Heal while I can, and... Oh, God. I don't love it. I don't love it, but I'm doing it. We could slice. No, open veins better. Much, much better. All right. All right, all right. That's expected. That's some stress. That's some big damage, too. Do I move him back? No, I'm pretty sure at this point I've just got to be committed to trying to take him down as quickly as I can. Oh, God. That party shuffle wrecks me, man. Fucking wrecks me. Ouch! That nearly fucking one-shot my jester. Royal Ghoul. Not fun to deal with. He is dead now, though. Okay, so I can try to at least... Adhere to a little bit of caution. Wow. Huh. Questionable health potion. You're free to guess what's inside. I'll take a chance at that. Oh. Oh. Oh god, the disease. I mean, I should have expected this too, to be honest. The whole disease part of it. Thick-headed. And dead-eye. Oh boy. Well, I'm not stunning this guy. How about this play? You know what? I'm gonna get his. I'm gonna get his markup. So I'm gonna leave you last. A powerful blow. I always thought the hook and slice was a pull forward too. Maybe that was a different skill. I don't know. All right, there we go. Healing done. Jester just needs desperately to start doing some. Uh, to start doing some stress healing because everyone has so much. And this is the perfect opportunity, too, so yeah, it's absolutely got to happen now. I might leave him alive. Because these two are going to die quick. He's probably going to go next round, or actually, right now he's probably going to die. Yep, there he goes. That crit wasn't too bad, it's just unfortunately a lot more stress. Ouch. Alright, well, we're gonna duelist advance. Or no, we don't really need to, actually. We can probably just stay up here, and I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna mark this guy, either. Ah, uh, man. Well, you know what? I really wish I could hook and slice. That was an unfortunate shuffle. Suppose that's our play. I gotta heal here, so let's do it. And now, yeah, definitely still doing that. I'm a little confused over whether or not I want to leave this guy alive now. Oh, I really wish that had killed. Okay, he's getting another... Well, yeah, the repost will probably do it. I'm real tired of this stuff. I'm real tired of getting crits. It's making it much, much more <laughs> difficult to manage this stress. Oh, God, and I can't stun him either, so I guess we're just going to try to take him out quick. Please, one more stress heal. He's up to 99. Bleed? Even with that, it's not enough. He's gonna get another attack off. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take pity, please. Well, that means he is ne dead next turn, though, so I suppose... I suppose worst-case scenario here, we're just dealing with a little bit of extra bleed damage. 
Which is totally manageable. Okay, I am going to deceitful shot this thing. Killing time so I can heal up. Hopeful, hopefully get the Vestal and the Jester. Let's do that. Come on, come on, come on. Who is the target, though? It's probably still the Bounty Hunter, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Obviously can't leave that hanging around. Okay. Oh, my God. The bigger the beast, uh, the greater the glory. I'm getting worried. I don't need that yet. Might be another campfire time, though. I probably had to... I, I gotta consider preventing the ambush, don't I? And not using a feast, either. Can I get away with just moving forward? Do I have enough food? There are a lot of factors to consider here. I really don't want to resolve check, so I feel like I ought to just go ahead and camp out while I can. I'm gonna do it now. Huddled together. Furtive, yep. Vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Same play, mockery on you, and then we're gonna go for the uh, Every Rose Has Its Thorn for extra reduction. Still got tons of stress, so that might have to be like almost entirely what we focus on this time around, although Sanctuary is tempting. I'm gonna hope that uh, we don't get screwed over twice. More or less. That's basically the play here. And now we've got three left. I can still scout ahead. That's still pretty damn useful. There we go. Nice. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, now though, the Jester definitely still needs to focus on reducing our stress. Because while we have managed to get ourselves out of immediate danger, it's still a pretty big issue at the moment. This is a good opportunity to try to... Maybe address a little bit of it. I don't know how much I want to let these guys stick around just because there is a lot of chance for... Chance for, uh, ectoplasmic perfusion here. And that would make our situation a lot worse pretty quickly. We'll probably just attempt one or two stress heals and then... Get the hell out of this situation. Back to the pit. There we go, alright. So he doesn't get his first chance. I think if I got the damage, I'll just take it, but I'm, hap I'm happy to try another stun, even though I'm pretty damn sure it's not going to work. We'll take this. Alright, that worked out fairly well. Might even get a heal off. If I get lucky! Nice! Excellent, and now the Highwayman should get his first action, too. Perfect. That was helpful. We get 40 gold for our troubles. This expedition at least promises success. Torches are not a problem, obviously. Another scout. Hallway fight. Trap. No shovels necessary, but this is sort of an intimidating sequence of rooms. Not really loving the outlook here. Here we go! Another big human fight. Okay. Opportunities for stress healing. And Deceitful Shot is massively beneficial. Let's try to take care of the ferocious one first, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, Deceitful Shot's got to be the play. Uh, okay, yeah, no, the... I gotta let these dudes blanket fire as often as I can allow. So I'll just go for the damage there, probably even attempt to kill him. We are completely dedicated to stress healing with the Jester right now, though. He's not really gonna be able to do much else. So there we go. Heals are not necessary, but a group heal would be nice to top us all off. Judgment isn't... Eh, you know what? I'm okay with this. Especially with the chance of the crit stress heal, obviously. That's beautiful. Judgment would be nice, too, though. We can get the extra little bit of stress healing on her. And deal some damage. That's awesome. Oh my god, I love Deceitful Shot in this scenario. Yeah, I don't hate this. Well, that w might have been a little bit better on the Ferocious Cutthroat. Okay, now we can go here, or we can even Wicked Slice. That's beautiful. Uppercut. Oh my god. Total control. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That was flawless. I love this play. And now we can group heal again. We'll absolutely stress heal one more time. 35 and 35. I guess we'll go here. This is the fight I needed, man. This this got us back. I'll deceitful shot again if I have to uh, reactivate the repost. We'll go there. 
Bringing it back down, baby. I love it. There's another... Uh, oh, that's another return shot. Yep. Five health. Judgment is perfect. Again, thinking it might, I might have been better off hitting the cutthroat, but I got Wicked Slice and Hook and Slice to take this guy down. It should be enough. Oh, he does get his turn first, unfortunately, and that could be some big damage, but... Eh, we can handle that. Not a problem. Wicked Slice! Yes! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Success so clearly in view. It's not a trick. Or is it it's not. Really no. Trick of the no, no, it's not a trick. Not a trick this time. We're good. Fucking spiders, baby, yes! Weirdly encouraged by this, although I shouldn't be. I, every time, I get excited and they quickly start to remind me why they suck. <laughs> but we're, don't, we're doing okay with this start. Actually getting fairly uh, lucky here. That might be a blight, but we're okay. I do need to get some healing done. Let's try to take out the one. Oh, he's got a really low chance to hit. That was 45% I just saw. That sucks ass. Let's see here. Deceitful is not bad again, although... Man, why does he have so much dodge chance? Get rid of that shit. Still down for stress healing here. Let's help out the Highwayman a little bit more and... Individually targeted heals? Why not, right? Why not pump our boys up? 22 out of 30, he'll be the next target, especially if he gets targeted here. Not too bad. Okay, the Blight's sort of scary. Stun on her, that would be unfortunate. Nice. I do want to top him off. And now go for the kill again. Beautiful! Self-stress heals, that's where it's at! One more avoid. Okay, a little bit of damage, a little bit of Blight maybe. That's good, that's good, that's good. Take the slice again. 68-68, well, uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Quick spitter goes down, that's more stress healing. Holy shit, we are doing this. Much better position. I'm so glad we ended up using that campfire. So we are taking care of business now. Even if he gets to act first, we're good. We are fucking golden. More emeralds, too. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Still got a key? Got some deeds. Oh, shit. Well, then. I am going to get rid of this because it's not really worth all that much anymore. Sadly, the common trick itself are fucking dirt. Oh my god. Well, we know we gotta go everywhere, so let's keep uh, moving. Mm -hmm. My goodness. We are like two-thirds of the way through. That's just silly. That is just fucking silly. I have two anti-venoms. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one here. Oh, that doesn't do anything on this anymore. Shit. Is it bandages? I guess I, I've already done this. It's neither anymore. God damn. Well, that's a fucking waste. Hopefully I don't need these right here in this... In this fight that totally facilitates the use of them. Uh, let's see. Stun chance is not bad on these guys. I think I'll go ahead and pop one here. Get some torchlight, get us out of that pitch is black. That black is pitch. You know the words. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna chance this, I guess. Or no, I love Open Vein here, actually. They've got some extra resistance on this one, though. That's a shapeshifter, too, so I'll be able to kill him fairly quickly. I can battle ballot, actually. Yeah. I haven't got many opportunities to do that, and I'd love to stay ahead of these guys speed-wise. Deceitful shot, man. I just... I really wish that was still on Duelist Advance, because then I could do some really, uh... Creative things with the positioning of this team, but sadly not the case. He's getting targeted by fucking everything now, so I'm really wondering if I should have done that. Bleeding out, he's gonna do okay, so he's dead. Sadly gets another attack off, and this highwayman is in a bad spot now. Definitely gotta heal him up. He's resistant to this uppercut, but it should work still. Should still get it, nice. Moves these two up into harvest territory, actually, which I am totally okay with. Very effective move. Oh, ooh, open vein. Yeah, I like that. Excellent. All right, that's one down. Oh my god, the 20 crit heal! My vessel is killing it today, too. Okay, we've got very few problems anymore. 
We're in a really good position. He's going to bleed out. Uh, well, actually, the shapeshift probably means that the Jester will be able to uh, harvest these guys first, which is fucking fantastic. Probably not going to hit you with that again, so I guess I'll just try to reduce the protection make the Highwayman job easier. Go for this. Working really well. A Highwayman open vein would be enough to kill him, but sadly cannot land that. That'll do just fine, though. Oh, it's not enough. Judgment, perhaps. I think I'll go for it. Beautiful. Okay, he is still in need of a little loving, though. Should I have stress healed? I guess it would have been nice to bring him back down to nearly zero. I might have an opportunity before we finish this off, though. There we go. Asking ye shall receive. There it is. This is, uh, I'm starting to feel pretty good. I'm feeling okay. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Let's keep moving. Do I want to use a shovel here? I don't, I don't feel bad about it. I still got five, so yeah, we're in a pretty good spot there. Let's go ahead and mosey on through. Still got herbs, still got an anti-venom and a bandage. And I'm still going to ignore those. Caustic Solutions. I really ought to bring more Caustic Solution into the wield, I guess. It's probably going to help me out quite a bit. Oh, whoa, a thick-headed madman. Oh, boy. Okay, tons of stress potential from this team. I gotta eliminate that immediately. That's not too bad. I should probably do this advance to get him in a position to stress heal as quickly as possible. Fungal Scratcher. I like this. Reduce some protection on him. Moves her up to the front. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? I'm okay with this, actually. A decisive Very nice. Almost within striking distance. Now, you're still a threat, though. Sadly, that does not bring us closer to eliminating you. I think I want to kill this one, but Duelist is still really good. Very nice. Okay, hopefully I can get t him taken care of before he's able to deal much damage here. This guy, I imagine, is probably just going to shapeshift into something not as threatening as the ectoplasm. Maybe even uh, another scratcher. Yeah. This might be okay. But way too much stress on our Vestal now. I think the Jester is going to have to commit to uh, reducing that again. She might even judgment one more time. Give herself a little bit of extra healing and maybe even crit with that, which would be amazing. Yeah, we'll go for it. God damn it, that sucks. That's like four points of stress that she lost out on there. Lost out on healing, that is. Another bleed would take care of this guy. There it goes. Oh, no, it doesn't quite do it. Shit. Okay, now we have to stress heal. Or not stress heal, uh, group heal next turn. Way too much damage coming out of these guys at this point. And they're they're going to be the ones left alive, I think, despite the fact that I haven't even managed to hit this guy yet. Go to the store and buy some eggs! Okay, you're dead. Stun here is good. But the damage might be better. Oh, man. This is a frustrating one. I hate that I left this guy for basically last. How's the Wicked Slice look? Not nearly as good as this still. It's just objectively better with that bleed, man. Okay, gotta do that. And a group heal is good, but I'm tempted to go for the individual on the Highwayman, but I like this a little bit more just because of that. Oh, God, yeah, now I fucking love it. Just because of that healing receive buff, even though it's only 5%, it gets me, man. It makes me feel like I'm doing better. Back to the ectoplasm. I'm going to try to stress heal a little bit more. I just need, like, one more shot on this guy. God damn it. Way too much. God, that created a big issue again. We had taken care of that problem, and now it's back. That is six points of stress healing I lost out on because of those dodges. Jesus Christ. Please let me go first. Please let me go first. All right, come on now. 55% chance, no wonder. That was rough. Another key. Be wary. Hmm. Triumphant I'll need that. Pride precipitates a dizzying. And we'll pop here. Very good. Five deeds. Excellent. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I don't know if there's anything left to scout, man. I am going to attempt to avoid this hallway battle. Go down through here, all the way around, hit that trap. 
The less fights, the better, I think. Because we've got at least two more, three more, actually, four more even. Potentially. Final key. Probably worth it. There we go. Getting a decent amount of gold, not quite what I was hoping for. Four portraits is awesome. Yes, sir. I'll dump the anti-venom for that. Do I need shovels anymore? I think I do. Pretty sure I'm gonna need at least one. What the hell am I doing? Hold on. Oh, I don't have a key for this. Should I try it, maybe? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Bounty Hunter is the best chance at this, right? Although the Vestal is a decent shot at it, too, at 95%. I think I'll give her a chance to reduce some stress. Excellent. Love having everybody at the same level, like, level of bars of stress, at least. This makes me feel like I'm organized, you know? At least I've got a semblance of control over this. Ah, that's good. Might be an opportunity to stress heal, actually. I think I'll just go for outright damage with the, uh... With the Highwayman in most of these cases. The thick-headed one's gotta be my first priority because I can't stun that guy, but I can stun this one. I mean, I'm assuming I'm not gonna be able to one-shot him with a Bounty Hunter, which might be incorrect, but... I'm willing to take that gamble. Just the Ectoplasm left. No, Ectoplasmic Perfusion, please, thank you! A good dodge, alright. Pretty ideal start there, I'd say. I think I'll go for this. Nice! Oh, love the help there. Yes, sir. Another one. Uh, 37, 34. It's got to be her. Very helpful. Again, the damage. We'll go for the judgment for sure. A little bit more stress healing for her, and the uh, Wicked Slice will do it, I think. Good shit. Another crit. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Nice and clean, baby. Seize this momentum. Push on to the tasks and we have, like, fully scouted this entire place. Beautiful. Just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. We've got all this stuff. The entire border, more or less. We're just clearing out the middle now. And I don't know what interacts with that still. It might even be a caustic solution, but I'm willing to just ignore it. Still got plenty of food, enough for three hunger tiles, and we'll probably just go ahead and leave the campfire be if I don't end up needing it. We need to go this way now. Four more rooms left. Four more rooms left, man. We're almost there. I need to bring, like, six caustic solutions every time I go into the wield now. Those goddamn bandage bodies are lying around all over the fucking place. Here we go. This is the last hallway to scout out, I think, and there's no shovel either. Ooh, this one. Oh my god, yes! No keys, though. Ooh, we need some keys. I gotta get lucky. Come on, pack. You know you wanna have a key. Oh, it's just a scout. Okay. Well, that's gotta be, like, the entirety of it, right? Another hunger tile, unfortunately. Okay. You know what? I might be able to cheese this secret room, actually, to give me 100% completion if I don't have to go to this other room. We'll find out, I guess, because I'm probably going to go right into there. I don't need this, so even if it's un... Or if it doesn't provide anything, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to ignore this for now. Probably double back right to it. Please, like, I've got the herbs, man! Fuck off! You've already picked up two! Oh my god! Just let me interact with, like, the one curio I can do something about! Shit! Oh god. Do I have bandages left? I've got one. Okay, that's gonna have to probably save my life here. Cause I'm looking at a lot of damage right away. More than likely. Owie. Okay, if that stacks more than twice... That's what I gotta be concerned about. Let's see. Stuns are good, and they probably will... Well, actually, hold on. I can almost one-shot these guys, so the damage is almost better. The stack will definitely result in a bandage there. I will do that. Harvest for the kill? No corpses either, of course. Open vein can get this guy. They're gonna dodge a lot, though. I gotta be ready for that. Let's attempt to bleed removal heal. I did say I was going to bandage there, but I'm waiting one more round here to see if they end up stacking a couple more times. Because they're really going hard on her. Shit! Okay, that one I probably need to get rid of. That's pretty bad. There we go. Can't hit him quite yet. Dodged again. 
Every bleed I hit, obviously, is pretty hit helpful, too. God damn it. They did stack on her again. Jesus. I probably should be stress healing, especially if those miss. One more down. She's got to heal herself. It's pretty bad, unfortunately. Nice, she cured the bleed, though. Oh, that's a shapeshifter. I didn't even realize that. Well, that is pretty good for us. Judgment, 50-50. I don't like it. I'd rather heal. Come on, baby. Ah! I'll definitely stress heal now. There goes one. Oh, goodness. Uh, 47. Yeah. That was not a fight I was looking forward to seeing. We've definitely preferred a few other options, but there we go. I'm just going to take a chance on this. Okay. Now we go secret room, despite not having a key. Because that might end up actually clearing out the entire dungeon. So we'll see. Yes, it does! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Quite a stash. A little bit of extra money. All right. We don't have to go here. And we can camp out. We have eight food, too. Yes! Perfect! Beautiful! Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to mockery. And then immediately every rose, of course. Looking to get rid of all the stress if I can. I should prevent the ambush. I'll prevent the ambush. And encourage. And that's pretty good. That's a pretty good result. Okay. Very nice. As the light gains purchase, Yay! Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. We've done a long wheeled mission. It's complete. Hoorah! Not a lot of money out of it, sadly. Probably spent more than I earned here, but... We got deeds, we got a life crystal. We got lots of experience, too, which... Let's bring these guys closer to level 3, a fast healer as well, and a lot of diseases! Can't forget about that! Lots of fun there! Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. That's pretty nice. Got a random dodge stone from our antiquarian recovering stress. That's kind of cool. Oh, god damn it! Our fucking arbalist is still missing, though. Okay, well. Pretty good results here, anyway. Thanks for watching this episode of Pitch Black Dungeon. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video as well. How about an hour-long video for you, huh? That feels pretty good. I'll see you next time.